Both Rhode Island Democrats and Republicans are gathering for watch parties as we speak. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan is with the Democrats at the Biltmore. She joins us now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Kelly. Mike and Shannon, in a few hours from now, this room will be filled with Democratic supporters and also some candidates looking to get reelected, like Congressman Cicilline and Langevin. Also tonight, the Democrats could potentially be celebrating a national victory in this historic election. Democrats bracing for a first in the country, a potential female leader in the White House. It is. I mean, every presidential election is significant, but this one is probably the most significant, certainly in my adult life. Uh, there's a lot at stake right now, and we need a leader who we can trust and who has the experience to do the job. Governor Gina Raimondo herself made history as Rhode Island's first female governor winning two years ago, and she's feeling pretty confident about Hillary Clinton. Well, I think we're on the eve of election the nation's first female president. We're making history here. As voters head to the polls, Raimondo says this election sticks out among the rest for her. I've just been in line for about an hour and there's a buzz about it and women and girls and the men in line, they're excited that we might be about to make history. And Rhode Island was the first state in the country to elect a female attorney general. And just recently, the governor appointed the first female superintendent of Rhode Island State Police. But again, Democrats will be closely watching this presidential race. And coming up new at 530, what the governor says the president will have to do when he or she gets into office. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Steve. And for election night, Rhode Island Democrats will gather in the capital city. They're, of course, hoping for a win for Hillary Clinton, but they're also hoping Rhode Island Democrats can hold on to some key seats in Washington. Eyewitness News reporter Kelly Sullivan is live at the Biltmore with reaction from Governor Raimondo. Kelly? Shannon and Mike, of course, Governor Gina Raimondo says she will be watching this presidential race very closely, but she'll also be keeping an eye on the local Democratic races, including the re-elections of Congressman Cicilline and Langevin and also House Speaker Nicholas Mattiello. It's no doubt the big race mostly everyone is talking about is the presidential race. Well, certainly I'm watching the presidential race. That's the one I am watching most closely. You know, I came out very early for Hillary Clinton, and I'm happy to be uh, casting my vote for her today to put her over the top. But Governor Gina Raimondo will be watching local races, including the re-election for House Representatives David Cicilline, who's running against Russell Taub, and Jim Langevin against Rue Reese. Uh, we have Congressman Cicilline on the ballot. He's my congressman and I'm, I'm watching that one and hope that he wins as well. Another key race is the re-election for Nicholas Mattiello who's running against Stephen Frias. He needs to win his District 15 seat to remain the Speaker of the House. And District 5 where Marcia Wranglin Vassal beat out House Majority Leader John DeSimone in the primary but he's still fighting to win as a write-in. Voters say whether it's a local or national race it comes down to the issues. We should just be elect the person who best serves our our motives and what we want as Americans. And going back to the House Speaker, as long as records were kept, the House Speaker has never lost a re-election. So again, that race will be closely watched this evening. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Kelly Sullivan, Eyewitness News.